So right here, I've got my water compartment. You can see I've got my fresh water tank. Uh, I've got a filter right here, my fresh water pump, and then I've got an accumulator, which helps the pump not have to cycle quite as often. And then this line, so this line comes out of the bottom down there, you can see, um, comes up here, goes through the pump. So the pump pulls the water out and then forces it through this tube around here and then i've got a connection right here a t and one direction of the t goes to my shower and i put a shut off valve right here so that i can uh, turn that off if i need to and then the other direction goes over to my sink on the passenger side then i have a t right here that goes into my water heater and so this is my in my cold water into my water heater and then I've got the hot water comes out of my water heater. I put another shut off uh, ball valve here so that I can cut that off if I need to. Um, this one right here is the pressure release valve. Um, and this needs to go out of the van. And so this uh, tube, this is a heat rated PEX tubing, goes down and straight down and out the floor. And I'll show you. Um, you can see kind of the hole down there. I haven't filled it in yet, um, but I'll show you um, underneath what I did. Uh, a really, I think, cool way to keep anything from crawling up into your tubings. So what I did is on my fresh water tank, this is a drain right right here. And so I, I connected it with the uh, nylon, braided nylon hose, and then reduced it down to a half inch PEX. Put a valve here so what i can do is just open this valve and it will drain my um my tank then i've also got my vent so you need a vent in your freshwater tank so that as water comes in the air has somewhere to escape and then when as the water drains out water air can come in so that the uh tank doesn't collapse on itself so the these what i did is this one comes in and connects also into this tube and then right down here, my pressure release connects. So all three of these are connected into one pipe that goes out the bottom of the van. And I'll, uh, I'll show you what I've done underneath. But that's a great way because there's three things that need to get out of the van. The, the ventilation, uh, the drain, and then the pressure release for the hot water tank. So all those are there. Um, Oh, and then the last thing is my fill line. So this is, um, my tank had a one and a quarter inch just straight spout. It was just a, they called it a BOSS, B-O-S-S fitting. And it's just a one and a quarter inch diameter, two inch long spout. So what I did is this is called a Fernco coupler. It's rubber and I, I, connected that and then i connected a bushing a one uh i can't remember what size bushing it was that fit into i think it was a, a one or one and a quarter inch fit into this fernco fitting tighten it down and then put a three quarter inch um uh threaded male thread with a barbed end and connected a three quarter inch hose to that so this comes out and then i've connected right here, a hose fitting. So I can connect my hose to this. And I, I like it rather than having an attached thing in the back of my van uh, where I connect the, the hose to fill, I wanted to have something that I could pull out of the van because that this thing's gonna drip after it um, is, after you're finished um, filling. And so that I didn't have a hose inside of my van, I wanna be able to get this out. And then it also has a, a little shut off, right? Hard to see, but on this, fitting there's a shut off so as i'm filling the van as i see that the tank is getting full i can just shut that off 
and stop the flow and then go turn the hose off. So I don't have to, you know, have, be yelling at somebody to turn the hose off or try to run and, and turn the hose off before this overflows. So that's kind of what my water compartment looks like. And um, so now I'll go outside and show you how I how I'm um, fitted the drain. So you can see right here, I've got my uh, drain line coming out. This is the back of the van. And so my uh, vent for my fresh water tank, my pressure relief for my hot water tank, and then also I've hooked up a drain. I connected all those into one pipe, drilled a hole, brought it through the bottom. You can see I painted it with Rust-Oleum so it won't rust. I'll fill this in with um, foam, uh, great stuff, foam, foam insulation. And so what a lot of people do is they'll like put in some kind of mesh or something to keep bugs from crawling up in here. Um, what I've done is I'm gonna hook up, this is actually a filter strainer like is on your um, pump. And so I put a fitting on here, uh, PEX fitting, um, and I'm just gonna screw this in. And so it's in the direction, the water will only come this way. And so I'll be able to drain it out. Not, I've got a strainer, I've got a filter, and it's one way so nothing can get up inside. And so I thought this is a really cool way to um, protect anything from getting up inside of your uh, tanks.